Um, so it's been it's been an interesting day in the Pacific Northwest. They're uh, all melting. Everything is night melt. The streets are melting. They're not built for that night. It is a hundred and ten to a hundred degrees Fahrenheit, which if you were in a Jeez. sane if you're in a sane country, that's somewhere about oh um forty five to fifty Celsius. It's 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 been kinda it's what the fnank? What the living yeah. absolute living what the dick butt fnank? Um I just realized I'm gonna have to mute myself on I I'm I'm giving myself stuff I have to censor a lot <laughs> in in the opening bit. But uh And as I understand <clears> it, because it usually doesn't get that hot in the Pacific Northwest, air conditioning no. is not standard. It doesn't get that hot. It's never gotten that hot. Well maybe like once in, in the Cretaceous or something. Like I'm in Colorado where everything comes with air conditioning because times of year gets pretty nice. hot. Oh, sorry, you're gonna have to censor me too. Um they're not so much, I mean, probably no. now, because, you know, we're just boiling the planet. And, and just just for comparison's sake, I live in Charleston, South Carolina, which is a subtropical region. And right now, late June, it is currently, today we had a high of 85 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, that's, that's like 23, 25, uh, what was it, like 24 Celsius, something like that. It's it's 30 degrees hotter in the Pacific Northwest. That's crazy. Yeah, it was 75 here today. We Which, had a bad heat wave last week, but that's just below the tundra up there. Literally just below the tundra. It's yeah. it's 30 degrees hotter than it is in the subtropics. Well, they said the heat wave is actually reaching the Arctic. We broke the world. We're all going to die. And just okay. Just a little cherry on top. Today here in in off the coast of South Carolina today. 1 p.m. Nothing. 2 p.m. Nothing. 3 p.m. Nothing. 3:05 p.m. Tropical storm. Wow. Just formed off the coast and came along to have a party. No just warning. Like, just like today. Today. See, the thing about hurricanes and tropical storms is we normally, they, they normally form well off the coast. We track right, them over the course of time. two days. No, nope, today, just like, boom, tropical storm. Surprise. And it did that last year, too. This is the second year it's done. Just off the coast, suddenly, boom, there's a tropical storm. Hooray. Yeah, see, I treated tropical storm season for fire season. And I haven't gotten used to that. It's like, like it's only my it's only my second fire season here. But there are days when it looks super cloudy, and I'm like, "Wow, is it going to rain?" No, that, those aren't clouds. That's smoke. You just you, it's like you pull out the map of America, and it's like wherever you want to live, choose your apocalypse. Yeah. Like which which one do you want to? Uh... I used to like the Northeast because it was mostly apocalypse free. Like it used to be, by the time the hurricanes reached, they were pretty much spun out. Not no more. Not anymore. Uh, well, on that sunny note. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. Probably pun intended. Ooh. Let's get the intro going because we have other human stupidity to contend with, as per usual. Less existential. Uh, human stupidity I hope each week Catherine Radio Dead Air audience go out on the worldwide interwebs bring back all sorts of horrible stuff for a little segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you live and, and of course we're going to start with this one this, this was the stupid herd round the world this weekend we got video everyone got video um earthquake country am I in earthquake country well, you weren't before the fracking started. That's kind of screwed up the Midwest. Um, so we have video. The whole this world. This idiot. fucking this tour de France. Largest, one of the largest and uh, most well-known bike races in the world. 
And uh, over the course of the weekend, uh, it, it began. They, they the, like we didn't have it last year because you know pandemic. Now it's back. Tour de France just gets underway, and this happens right there. And kaboom, boom, boom, and there we go. There's kaboom, and ow, and ooh, and sh well, let's 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 one more time. Let's have another look. And right into the sign. That that sign says hello, grandma and grandpa. Oh no! And um, there, there you go. And this is that's why they have those helmets, because that dude got the, he's got his head run over a few times. Now I'm 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 not laughing about it because just like Jesus Christ, most all right. Before we go any further, the injuries were minor. Um, there was a few injuries bad enough they had to drop out of the race. But can you no imagine you train your whole life for this? And some fucking idiot with a piece of cardboard. A, a, a fucking piece of fucking cardboard leaned out in the fucking road. Uh, pandemonium broke out in the cycling roads of France on Saturday when a massive crash broke out in stage one of the Tour de France. A uh, spectator stretched out a little too far into the course with a sign and tripped up cyclist Tony Martin, causing a mass of bikes and bodies to pile up as a result. Just that picture it says the dude in the middle. There's just like I'm done. I'm um, I'm just gonna lay Let down here. Let the cyclist hit the floor. Let the cyclist hit the floor. No. In addition to Martin, the whole Jumbo Visma team went down along with dozens and dozens of others. The man that caused the crash is holding on a sign that read "Ale Upi Omi," written in black marker, which was a hello message to their grandparents. So Coincidentally, she, the grandparents are no longer speaking to them. Because <laughs> what she did was, all right, without looking at the road, she leaned out into the road to get on the camera. Like. Well, hey, you wanted to be famous. You, Mission accomplished. Why couldn't you have just, like, TikTok your damn self? <laughs> That's what the rest of us do. Just TikTok your dang self and go viral. Work for your shit. Back in my day, we had to work for our notoriety of 15 minutes on the internet. But no, now no one's going to forget your ass ever because this has never happened before at the tour. I'm you are now immortal. You know how we, we, we constantly say that every rule has a person behind it. And it's like yep. it's like the. If you look at the, I, I, I go back to this one quite often. It's look at the the copier toner. It says "Do not drink." The top copier yeah. toner. That's because some the other, irons say "Do not iron clothes on body." Because somebody did that shit. Now there are going to be rules about yep. the Tour de France and along the roadway, and they're going to name it after your ass. Well, they're missing. I don't even know if they know who it is. <laughs> they probably ran the fuck away. <laughs> They're, like oh, they say, this person is missing. Of the Tour de France. Well, you know why? Uh, Excuse the, me. The, the Tour de France said they're going to sue them. That that, that that's the first thing. They're they're, they're we are su yeah uh, we are suing the woman who behaved so badly. Deputy Director Pierre Yves Thualt uh, told AFP, "We're doing this to the tiny minority of people who do this. Don't spoil the show for everyone." No shit. Like. No. Yeah, because you you, influ you affected the race, you affected the outcome. People fell behind. Oh. Ah. Oh, fucking Scott. People fell I lost behind. You for a minute, but I'm yeah. back. You affected the race, you affected the outcome. People fell behind. Yeah, they're suing your ass. Yeah. Let's move to back to America. Um, that where must we? Okay, I, I really, I try. To respect other people's beliefs, I I try. It's gotten much harder in recent years because, like, you tie your beliefs to the idea that the, you tie your religious beliefs to the idea there's a, a a child sex ring in a pizza parlor. It gets a little fucked up, so I try not to. But it's a little hard not to mock. Um, this one is one of those where I'm sitting here going, "Oh God." And I know someone in the comments is going to be, hey, man, you just don't understand them. It's, you got you to gotta let them believe what they want. You got to. Yeah, yeah, no. X 
Exorc please kick out group holding exorcism for the dead trees at Pennsylvania Home Depot. What? Police report from uh, Dixon City in Lackawanna County raised eyebrows this week for a bizarre description of an incident that happened Monday. 326 p.m. Commerce Boulevard at Home Depot for disorderly people having an exorcism in the lumber aisle for the dead trees. That's they, not what an exorcism is. They, they were escorted out of the building. There were two people hanging out in the lumber aisle department doing their little exorcism thing. Some people at the store started picking up that something was happening that was not necessarily normal. Police recalled the store and they were ex escorted out of the building. Okay. That, that's the, I, I think it's all right. I think it was called an exorcism because the police are kind of dumb. Okay, they the, just didn't. There were people doing weird shit and they called it an exorcism. So that's not what an exorcism is. So we've got a we got layers of stupid here. Okay, yeah, it's not just one layer of stupid, it's, it's they, they were calling it, but the trees in the Home Depot. The, the, were they trying to revive them? Were they having a funeral or something? I think you're a little late. You don't have enough time during Home Depot's operational hours to have an ant moot. Like, okay, he, if you are near any building in the Western world today, Damn near any. Congratulations, you are near wood. Yeah. There is wood in the walls. There is wood. There is there is wood beneath the ocean. Beneath the wood. <laughs> I was just doing thinking the same under thing. Under the wood. There's wood. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. There's little wood chips in the landscaping. Mm-hmm. You, you you're kind of that. That's kind of what we've done. We we it, we're like done. You're trying to you're trying to put the tide back with a teaspoon there. <laughs> and I could. This is one of those things I could appreciate if you make decisions for yourself and your own living arrangements. You want to be like, okay, I I. It's like I get it, kind of, but I feel like you'd have a really hard time. Yeah. Getting yourself a domicile without any wood. But uh, also, like, the Home Depot people, they don't need this shit. Right? Like, it's like, I'm not paid enough for this. I'm literally not. Like, I not appreciate paid. you wanting to bless the dead trees or whatever. You can do that from the parking lot. Yeah. Look. Look, if it's the spirit of the tree that you're concerned about, it can hear you from the parking lot, I feel sure. We're not dealing with physics here. There are no sound waves that have to transmit from you to the spirit of the dead tree. Also, like, either this is bullshit and you just wanted attention, or you never get anything done because you're literally doing this all the time. Because, as mentioned, a lot of wood. And if this is bullshit and you're doing it for attention, you've completely failed because they don't even mention your name in the story. And the one time nobody filmed it. And they call it an exorcism. So everything just you failed here. Completely yeah. Failed. Uh, next up. OK, this again, I, I want the American education system. If you want someone to get your kids to stop doing drugs, we're here. Pay us. Because we're very good at this. Here is yet another it's reason. Like a really weird version of scared straight. Yeah, we're, it's it's not a matter of this is going to make you go blind and your dick's going to fall off and your feet are going to be off. No, this is going to make you be a complete fucking moron. Do you want to be a fucking moron? No. Speaking Everyone's of, going to laugh at you, including us on the internet. They're all going to laugh at you. Um, Wyoming man calls to ask why he wasn't arrested. He is arrested. A uh, Wyoming man who asked a sheriff's dispatcher why he hadn't been arrested soon found himself in handcuffs. 
62-year-old man called the Campbell County Sheriff's Office Thursday to ask why he hadn't been arrested after deputies raided his house the previous day. Ask why he should be arrested. The man said meth use. Wait, it gets better. The man Nobody also- had raided the man's house or was planning to arrest him. You fucking hallucinated a police raid and then called to complain about it. Hey, y'all raided my house. Nobody even fucking arrested me. What are my tax dollars paying for? I pay your salary. This half-ass shit. (laughs) The man also told the dispatcher 10 young men were following him. Specifically 10 young men. Was were, were, Did they read the house? Did they read? <laughs> After the call, uh, a deputy spotted the man driving and followed what he pulled off the road. The man allegedly told the deputy he had used methamphetamine a day and a half before and was still high. It had poorly on sobriety tests and was arrested for driving. See, the thing about meth and... All right, uppers in general, um, if you saw that video from Donald Trump Jr. today, wow... Uppers in June in general kind of make you talky. Yeah. They make you a little bit of a chatty Kathy, which is probably not a very good term, but they make you chatty. Um, You will babble. You will say things that you probably shouldn't because your inhibitions are gone. And you're hyper. I, I am amazed that, to, again, I that Donald Trump Jr. video. I'm amazed that he didn't just lean down and just rip another line right in the middle of that conversation. But I feel like this guy's problem would be better solved, not with meth, but maybe just some all male gangbang porn. (laughs) What? He's having a lot of hallucinations about groups of dudes. (laughs) I think we just need to address the underlying issue. Just, no, you won't need the mess. I'm a little frustrated. It sounds like I'm of the opinion. Just a couple, uh, some gummies, some edibles. Yeah. You need to chill, man. You just need you need a day where you don't give I have a fuck. watermelon flavored ones. They're great. Like it's it's taking a day off, and then there's taking a day off with some gummies because then you just don't care. I tried the infused cola. Yeah, because that still tastes like... like, It tastes like if you took a bunch of weed and put it in an RC. And that's... Weed doesn't... (laughs) Weed is not a great taste. No. I don't know who told you it was, but they lie. Most of what you do with weed is try not to taste the weed. Yeah. Well, next up, it's like... This is a, this is a dog dog catches car story, if ever I read one. Um, <sighs> stolen yacht recovered on Lake Champlain. It's a lake. You yeah. stole a yacht in a lake. Saint Al- Saint Albans. Police said the 48-foot yacht Volans was stolen from the Roos's Point, New York area. Authorities, including Custom and Border uh, Protection helicopter, traced the boat to Burton Island State Park off of St. Albans. Police say the operator, Robert Morris, 56 of Jericho, was arrested on charges of operating without the owner's consent and possession of stolen property. You kind of limited your escape route. Where are you going? It's I. You're kind of just. Are you just gonna go in circles and hope nobody notices? We. Like if you had you've stolen. Congratulations, you've stolen a yacht. Now what? Yeah. It's it's not a transformer. It's not a triple changer. It doesn't have a car form. Is that a thing? 
they, yeah, they, they had that's one of the Transformers things. They call them triple changers. They, they, there's there's Astro Train, who could change from a robot to a space shuttle to a train, and there was uh, Blitzwing, who could transform from a tank to a robot to a plane. It's and, a serious question, though, because I've seen these toys yeah. mm-hmm. and they fucking confound me. <laughs> <laughs> just the, just the ones with two forms. Are you ever able to actually get it into any of those three forms? Yes. Completely? Yes. Yes. Because they have like four hundred moving parts, and like maybe I'm telling on myself that I'm a fucking moron. But I've tried to do Transformers, and I can't do. You've it. You've probably tried to do the modern ones. When I was a kid, they were a lot simpler because we were a lot dumber. Kids today are, I, I'm, I'm going to say kids today are much smarter than we were. Yeah. Because they, they've come up with, with with smartphones, with tech that we didn't. When when I was a kid, the Transformers were a lot simpler. There were some Transformers that to transform them, you just folded them in half and you were done. Okay. That is literally... Because one of my nephews used to be really into Transformers and he gave me one of his <laughs> toys. I was like, okay, turn it back into a plane. And I was like, do I don't have a master's in physics <laughs> or engineering. So I don't think that I could help you. Yeah, when we were, we were kids, they were a lot easier because we were a lot dumber. Um, so that that yeah, you're, the boat's not the boat is in the water. Yeah. it's not leaving the water unless you like. If this dude had planned for the shit and got like a, a crane and made you know the whole heist situation going on and like a tractor trailer and shit, that would have been cool. No, you just stole it in a lake. It's not leaving the lake. Really, what you did was borrow it without permission. Illegally. Yeah. Because I think stealing is giving him a lot of credit when he was never getting it out of it. (laughs) You were not going to maintain possession. You were borrowing with malice. Yes. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Malicious borrowing. All right. I'm all right. Next story. I've got. I've, I've got kind of a weird situation to put to you. How unappealing and angry are, are, are dry chicken McNuggets with no sauce? I've eaten them like a lot. So you got you've got little to no problem with. No. with okay. Because I used to, when I used to freelance, I ate in the car a lot, and you can't be fucking with sauce behind the wheel. So, okay, so, yeah, because this what dipping sauce rage results in man's arrest. This isn't a Rick and Morty thing, is it? After realizing the dipping sauce was not included with his chicken McNuggets, an Iowa man called his local McDonald's. And threatened to blow up the restaurant. That's excessive. Robert Goldwitzer, 42, was arrested Saturday evening and charged with making a false report about an explosive or incendiary device. A felony. <clears throat> Goldwitzer allegedly phoned in a threat to a McDonald's five miles from his home in Akane, a Des Moines suburb. The phone threat, cops charge, came after Goldwitzer discovered that his McDonald's order was bereft of dipping sauces. That's not a blow up the building offense. That's like a bad Yelp review offense. I have I'm gotten not that McDonald's cares about Yelp reviews. I have gotten McNuggets with no sauce before. I've gotten home, opened the bag, and where's my sauce? Do you know what I have done? I went to the fridge. And if I was doing well, there was maybe uh, some barbecue sauce in the fridge, maybe some Heinz 57. If I was in a really, if I hadn't gone grocery shopping in a while, okay, we'll do, make do with the ketchup. It's just, it just got to do that. Yeah. I have not gone, well, time for felonies. Time it's, for domestic terrorism. I like don't, I've, you know, I've gotten home and they forgot the sauce and I'm like, all right, I got some Goldens and some honey. Let's just make some honey mustard real quick. 
or I'll just go with the ketchup if I'm lazy because I'm a honey mustard person. I don't really like barbecue. I mean, I like barbecue sauce. Like it's, I'm not opposed to the concept, but it's not my chicken nugget dipping choice. I'm a honey mustard person. Do you remember when they just had honey as a dipping sauce? Yeah. They don't do that anymore, do they? No, I don't think so. They just, yeah, for a while with chicken nuggets, they just, there was just honey. It's like, you could just dip them in straight sugar. Look, here, have some diabetes. No, it was, but uh, Catherine says that's a lot for Szechuan. <laughs> if only it had been Szechuan. This wasn't even Szechuan. This was just like, a... it wasn't even the rare sauce. Like, like, just like, fucking barbecue. Like, it's not and like, yeah, it's annoying when the drive through fucks up your order. It is. We've all been there. We've all had it happen. It sucks. But you figure it out and you move on with your well, life. Well, you don't where, start threatening to blow people up. Where this comes from, no matter who does it, is this comes from the how dare you do this to me? Yeah. You don't do this to me. I'm going to teach you not to do these things to me. And first of all, the second you walk out the door, anybody working at a restaurant like that, unless you're a fucking terror, has already forgotten you. Yeah. They don't It's they not don't. fucking personal. Yeah, they don't care. They don't care enough about you to personally slight you. <clears throat> Shit happens sometimes, man. <sighs> Catherine says KFC honey is literally just corn syrup. I didn't know that, and that's terrifying. I mean, it doesn't Ew. surprise me. Ew. We've, we're, we're, we're all dying slowly. But yeah, you're go now you're going to go to jail. And I'm like, he's 42, which means he was an adult. When yeah. we come, there was a morning when the bomb, we never were, the bomb threats were forever verboten as if they weren't bad enough before. After yeah. that one morning, we're like, we're done with it. He's only two years younger than me. So I promise you, he remembers that day. <sighs> Unless he was too fucking drunk or something. Uh, and they don't give a fuck about your dipping sauce in prison, by the way. That, yeah, you're not going to... That's one of those... you got to think about... If you're setting yourself up to go to prison, you've got to think about what you're going to tell the other inmates once you're in there. Because yeah. if you tell them you're in there because of McDonald's dipping sauces... Your stretch in the in the pokey is not going to be a fun time Before for you. Before you commit a crime, you should think about having to explain it to the other people in prison and how hard you're going to get your ass kicked for it. Yeah. yeah. The last one tonight is... I admire the hustle, but Jesus. One of the big problems we have right now with the whole self-checkout thing. Well, I call it a problem. It's been, I guess, problem is is relative. One of the problems with self-checkout is um, there's a lot of what the, the retail calls shrink. Uh, yeah. Because instead of making everybody go past one person who physically checks every item you have and passes it over a scanner before they put it in a bag and hand it back to you, you maybe have like 15 people going to an automated thingy and one person has to watch them all at the same time. And it's not that hard to just be like, whoops, forgot to scan this one. So, uh, um, this, wow. Two women accused of stealing more than hundred thousand dollars worth of items from walmart's in several states this was a fucking wow. operation these ladies were on two women were arrested after authorities said they spent months stealing more than a hundred thousand dollars worth of merchandise from walmart stores in several western states including arizona uh, mary garcia and melinda rodriguez uh 47 and 38 were arrested in june and face several counts of organized retail theft. An investigation into the reported thefts began in March this year when Walmart loss prevention noticed a series of suspicious transactions involving an in-store scanning app. Oh, God. Suspects would enter the stores and scan the item using a smartphone in order to use the quick pay at the checkout. Problem was, once they reached the checkout, payment was bypassed. They simply walked out with the unpaid merchandise by using the app the suspects gave the appearance they were paying for the items. See how it works is in order to save time at the checkout thing, 
you you scan the items as you get them and put them into your cart, right? Then you get to the end, you bag them up, you don't have to scan the items again, and you just run your phone over the oh. thing, and it ta and that, that prints out, okay, this is what you're charged, here's your receipt. It's not charging you until you get to the end. They just, at the end, they bagged up their shit and walked out. Without doing the... Somebody would have thought of that <clears throat> while designing that system. <laughs> and yet they did not. Um... Mesa police say in Maricopa County alone, Garcia was responsible for approximately $72,000 and Rodriguez has approximately $34,000 in stolen items. Oh, just... I admire the hustle. I, I gotta say, I also admire their blowouts. <laughs> they got volume. <laughs> they got volume, they do. Um... But it, wow, like who designed this system and didn't think about that loophole? <laughs> I, 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 oh my god, because uh. I know Walmart has the fucking money to do that market research. See, this is this is one of the problems with trying to. I don't to do even blame these women, I blame Walmart. I know, I mean, it's like you left like a gaping, it's like you left a shouldn't have worn that fucking checkout line on Walmart. You were asking for it. Well, it's not just leaving the check. The checkout line is not just the problem. The problem is they aren't training the remaining employees to do this yeah. stuff, and they aren't paying them commensurately. And they, they probably have one person watching f four or five aisles, like you said. Oh, yeah. Well, so I'm, if somebody over here has a question, they're not even going to see you. Let me, let me picture in my head my own local Walmart. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Yeah, 10 in like this little cube area. And one woman is, and, and even better, the woman who has to, or I say woman, person, the person who has to watch them all has to keep her back to them because her terminal is facing the other damn direction. So you're basically asking people to steal. Yeah. They're, I mean, I... Now the idea is, oh, we'll catch them with the cameras at the system. Apparently not. Apparently not. This is just... We go to Target a lot, and Target, like, their system's a little better, because mm -hmm. the self-checkouts are pretty close together. Yeah. They're all so in just, one row, and it's across right, it's from uh, customer service. So, and there's yeah. still one person, but, like, they have a much smaller area. They're having a watch, you know? And they have, like, a greeter that greets you on the way out oh. and you know and that's not that's a psychological thing but like you know, you I, know you've been seen i kind of wish they just they they'd stopped a little bit sooner because i would i wanted these i would they, they could have been legendary they could have been fucking legends or maybe moved on to other states that probably would have been a better cool a, a better you know but no just you got walmart to... in every state like fucking pokemon <laughs> Just have like a road trip. Gotta rob them all. With a get a U-Haul, go on a road trip. Just and fill. like it's fucking Walmart, so who feels bad for them? Nobody. Get the extra large sucker, fill that up with big screen TVs and shit. It's Good Friday every Friday. So yeah, yeah I, I, you set up a stupid like you set up a stupid ass system with a huge loophole. That anybody who's ever jockeyed a register could tell you was a loophole. Yeah, if, if the first thing we learned this week is if uh, you have, uh, if you're like, what's the worst that could happen without actually thinking about what's the worst that could happen? It's gonna fucking happen, you idiot! Yeah. Um, we've learned that really consider what you're gonna say to your fellow inmates once your felony <laughs> Has got your ass in jail. It should be part of your crime planning, honestly. Because if 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 shirt if giant men with tattoos and anger are going to ask you why are you here, and you say to them McDonald's dipping sauce, that's not going to turn out well for you. They're going to beat you up. Yes. Um, we've learned that if you steal a yacht. Make sure the body of water has an exit. Try to have an exit strategy. Where are you going? It's Lake Champlain for fuck's sake. It's not even all that big. 
Um, we've learned that meth will get you arrested, not by any investigation. You will tell people you were on fucking meth. Yeah. Don't do meth. It's a bad drug. Kids. And you shouldn't be watching, but I know your ass is watching you little shits. Yeah. Don't do drugs. Or if you do drugs, we've got some that we've set aside that we're pretty okay with. You know, moderation in all things. But you can have yourself a beer. Just stay away from the fucking meth, man. Have yourself some nice edibles. Not the fucking meth. The meth's no good. The meth's no good. You're the meth makes you stupid. Um, we've learned that really if if your beliefs okay, cool. Practicing your beliefs, maybe you don't want to involve everybody because they don't want to be involved with you. It should be a pretty What's voluntary the saying? Thing. Religion is like a penis. It's fine to have it, but you don't want to just wave it around in public. It's a good analogy. <laughs> Finally. Oh, we have learned that uh, your attempts to go viral, maybe you should reconsider yeah. if you're planting yourself in one of the largest, most televised events in the world. Not Listen, to... just get a cat. <laughs> it's true. Crazy. Crazy. Get a fucking cat. Eventually, they're going to do something that makes you go viral. Watch this. Oh, I all the videos that I've had really blow up on TikTok. Cats. Mo yeah, they're all of the cats. Most of them are either of Houdini the feral or of Simba yelling at us. I'm just going get a fucking cat. I'm going to to check my metrics this week, and everyone's just going to fast forward to this part of the of the video, and then they'll they'll leave. They're not going to watch it. Somebody again. somebody will leave a comment in the YouTube comments that's like, "Here's the timestamp to just fast forward to Greedy, and not have to hear them talk." <laughs> 